be the best. Not the best that people think you should be, but the best at that particular field. Without no, no one can take it away from you. And that, that changed my life, like that changed, literally changed my life. So I asked myself, every time I want to do a task, I'm engaged in anything, I asked myself, what do I know about these things? What do I know? Do I not have the same knowledge everyone has? Or do I have something that I can use to? You don't need to, you don't need to have everything. And we all um, know English, right? Yeah, so that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know to know, right? So no, and that's the first part. I've started my presentation, if the slide comes, it's still the same thing. So the first thing I, I say is, as an analyst, as a business development manager, but the way you understand business development, the way you were taught entrepreneurship, the way you were taught HR, that might not be the way the company does HR. That might not be the way the company does business development. So if you're a smart person, the first thing you need to do is observe the new environment you find yourself and ask yourself, what is priority to these people? How do they want these things to be done? When you have clarity on this, then you can now bring forth your own idea. And so it means that with the knowledge of the environment that you've observed, with the knowledge that you have inside of you, you're going to sit down and ask yourself, OK, what are they doing? What can they do better? What are they doing wrong? Do you understand? And then you want to speak at any point in time, whether through in meetings to another colleague or organization. If you have a conversation with someone about something you know, OK. So, so this is it. Oh, I think one of my slides is missing. So this is an organization. Recruitment gets people like you and I that are full circle and then try to place them in this, engaging you so that they will become this. Right? You would, you would not be fit anymore. That's the reality of the company. Do you understand? Now, this is where the decision is. So the only organization. And what we said was there are three things you need to do for yourself, and that's the code. You fit in more, right? Rather than be a circle and just be a match for the current time. For knowledge, you need to observe your environment, you need to do a whole lot of research, you need to know what you talk. Don't be, don't be eager to say something, no. Be eager to learn, be eager to engagement, right? The next thing is, then you practice. You go test it and see if it's true, or if it's just a one-off. This, what do you think? I want to do it. Ask for help. You don't have to be the best because you're not just acting on your own wisdom. You're the end of use. So you're using acting out. Try it in other areas. You do. You have the underlying principle of how this task should be done excellently. And when you readapt, you would be able to lead people naturally. People will come to you. So in any organization, people go to the person that will naturally solve problems. You know that. Even if you are not a leader, if you're the person that solves the highest problem, people will naturally come to you. So in your own way, you might not have the title of GM CEO, but you're the leader. And everyone knows. Do you understand? So you have how well do you execute and how much master observe and research. As you go along, you practice and you seek guidance. And then at the end of it, you readapt and you reproduce. For yourself, you need to have a knowledge, you need to execute, and you need to gain mastery. For your output in terms of what you do, you need to speak, you need to act, and you need to lead. So observe and research before you say you're a leader or before you lead people. Um, so what do I need to do? And I'm coming to the end of my time. So what do I need? You can decide how you want to do it. So most times we just want to do a task, but we don't have an understanding. We don't have, we don't have the idea of why this thing is important. So we go our own way. But if you have an understanding why it's important, you will know that's why you need to turn it up 3 o'clock and not 5. Do you understand? The second thing is be open-minded. Do not be boxed. Do not feel you know. Be open-minded. Research. Google it. Ask people. Ask anyone. Ask everyone. Right? So, like, I always ask myself this question. This, ensure that this tax it's adding, it's being needed in the organization before you go into it. All right, otherwise you're wasting your time and that's not a good thing to do. And then be excellent.
So I said, is this the best? The first thing I asked myself is, before you even crack your brain, and most times we like using our head, it's good. But wait, there are over 8 billion people on Earth, right? The internet has been existing in some countries before it came here. Somebody, somewhere, has done and perfected what you're about to write. Before you now start, can you just take two minutes when you've never done this thing before? Do you understand? So be ex have three standards templates. Yours is the best mindset. It's ensure that every point in time, you're adding value. Every day you go into your office, every okay. She said so many things, people. Um, so um, I, I think you need to give me a few minutes um, for my slides to come up.